Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt and iOS 15 is the new version of iOS and is likely coming out in about a month from now when the new iPhones ship. Now, I've been using it on my personal iPhone for the past two and a half months. And in that time, the biggest feature that stood out to me is a feature called Focus. Focus is really awesome and has changed how I use my iPhone and I could never go back. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys uh, kind of what my setup is and how you can get it set up like that once you get the new OS installed. Uh, again, it'll ship in September most likely. And if you want it right now, there's a public beta. I'll leave a link in the description so you can kind of check it out if you want. It's pretty darn solid right now. Uh, so I don't have many qualms with suggesting people install it. But yeah, I'm gonna show you my screen so you can see how it works. But the gist is that when I'm at home, my iPhone shows me just apps that I care about while I'm at home. When I'm at work, my phone is showing me only apps that I care about at work. Uh, it's hiding the home things away. It's not notifying me about those things. It's really work focused. Uh, when I'm about to go to bed, my phone is gonna show me uh, things that are more calming, less social media, less notification-y. <laughs> it kind of puts me in a more serene mood when I'm about to go to bed. And on the weekend when I should be relaxing, my phone is not showing me tons of notifications. It's not bombarding me with all that stuff. And my home screen is again, much more focused around relaxation, around fitness, around the stuff that I should be doing on the weekend when I shouldn't be working or making videos like this, which I sometimes do. But let's go into the screen share you can, so you can kind of see what I've got going on and give you some inspiration for what might work for you once you have it. Okay, so here's my home screen. I've just got two home screens here and then my app library. And if I hold down on the home screen, I can go into jiggle mode and then I can hit the dots right above the dock. And you can see I actually have four home screens. Only two are visible right now. The other two are different and I'll show you why those are different in a second. So let me go ahead and kind of get out of this and I wanna set a focus mode. So let me just go ahead and show you how it works right now. If I pull down and hold down on focus, you can see a couple different options. Let me go into work mode. So I'm gonna go out of here and now I can see, oh, my home screen is totally changed and I have my calendar at the top, I've got the weather and then more of my work apps, a couple like audio ones that I use to listen to things while I'm working. But yeah, these are totally different apps. And if I turn off work mode and go into normal mode, I'm instantly back to my normal home screen. So how does this work? I'm gonna to go to the settings app and you'll see down here, I have a new option for focus. And when I go into there, you can see those same options we just saw in Control Center. So do not disturb, sleep, weekend, work. And then there's personal, which I actually don't have set up, but it's one Apple recommends. I'm just not using it. Then at the bottom, we have share across devices. And so I can have these statuses um, and states, I should say, sync across my devices. So when I go into weekend mode, for example, on Friday afternoon, I can have it so that my iPad and Mac also go into that mode. And on those devices, I can have settings as well that'll make sure that different home screens show up, different things happen. It's really pretty cool. But the basic rules around like what note apps get to notify me and like uh, some stuff like that all syncs over. I'll show you that in a second. But I'm only gonna demo the iPhone today, but you should know that it's going to give you this capability across the iPad and Mac. And when your devices sync, they can all sync together, which is cool. So let me show you work. So work is a mode that I've got set up and I can toggle it on right here or off. And then you have allowed notifications. So in each mode, you can choose who gets to notify you, both people and apps. And so I have a list of people who are allowed to notify me while I'm at work. Uh, so I've got about, looks like 20 people who are able to notify me. And then I have different apps who are allowed to send me notifications. So I'm not gonna tap into the people, uh, but apps is a thing I can tap into. And I've basically said all of these apps are allowed to notify me while I'm working. I can go ahead and add new apps if I'd like by hitting add app and I can just go through everything on my phone and I can choose which ones I want. I've got these really more focused on work things uh, so I can set what apps can notify me, what people can notify me. Uh, I can set different statuses. Um, the home screen is really cool. So you can actually see a UI bug here in the beta uh, that I should report. Uh, but I can say uh, hide notification badges, which will mean my icons don't have any notification badges on them at all, which isn't relevant for work. For work, I actually do wanna see what I have notifications on, um, but at home I may not. But custom pages is cool. So I'm gonna go into custom pages and here is where you can see those home screens that I had set up uh, previously. I had four home screens. I was only showing two by default. When I'm at work, I actually have all my home screens hidden except for this one home screen. This one has all my work stuff on it. So that's the one I wanna see. Um, I can tap on them to add them back. Uh, but yeah, I can choose which ones I wanna see uh, in this mode. So I just wanna see the one home screen. So I'll hit done. We'll go back. 
Uh, the lock screen, I can set a couple things. I can choose to dim the lock screen uh, while I'm at work, and I can uh, decide whether I want to show silence notifications. So the apps that aren't allowed and the people who aren't allowed to notify me, do I want them to show up on the lock screen even? Yes or no? I have it set to no. Like I really don't want to hear about it while I'm at work. And then turn on automatically. This is a really cool thing. And this is what makes it so that my phone is automatically kind of going to the right mode for me on my behalf without me having to interact with it at all. So you can set numerous automations to go. So you can see I actually have a couple. So I have uh, every Monday and Thursday, I have 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. My phone is going to go into this mode. Uh, and so it's just going to go into that mode. I actually want to change that. I actually, over the course of the uh, year, that's actually shown to be, it's useful all the time. So all five days a week, I'm going to have it go from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's always going to turn on. So, okay. And then I also have location-based ones. I'm not going to go into this one because, again, I'm going to show you my actual work. and I don't necessarily want to do that. But you can make it so when I arrive at a, at a location or when I leave a location, I can set uh, a status to happen. So that's actually um, what this one is, is while I'm at this location, while I'm at the office, it's going to automatically turn it on. So even if I'm outside this nine to four every day, uh, every weekday, uh, it's going to turn it on. So maybe if I get there at 8 a.m. or leave at like 6 p.m., it's going to be on the whole time I'm at work. And then these nine to four is just like if I'm working from home, it's going to automatically set it while I'm working from home. But yeah, you can set up multiples of these. I can add one so I can add a time based one, a location based one or like an app based one. So when I open an app, I can do it. It's all really automatable, uh, which is cool. You can use this with shortcuts. So in the shortcuts app, you can tell uh, bait when you run a shortcut, you can toggle a focus mode as well. Uh, I'm not using any, any of that, but you can do that as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how that works. And you can have multiple ones set up. Um, this personal one is one that Apple suggests, so it kind of shows this. Um, I actually don't like this because I don't need that. Um, but yeah, you can add another one. Uh, when you add one, they have some recommendations uh, that you can do. Uh, we'll just do a custom one. And then you can set a color. You can name it whatever. Uh, we'll call this one Hey. Uh, you can give it a custom icon. They don't have a huge list of icons, but they got some decent ones here. I'll make this like a red flame next. And then you can kind of like go through all those things I just showed you. They kind of have a wizard that walks you through each one. Um, but yeah, it has my wife there set up as being allowed to notify me in this mode. It assumes I want her to be able to notify me in every case. But I can add people. I can accept calls from favorites. Um, I could even say allow none and no one's allowed. Uh, certain apps kind of guesses what I might want, but again, I can go through the interface and add what I'd like. If an app has a time sensitive thing, I can have it burst through uh, that l list of allowed apps. But yeah, it's kind of a wizard that walks you through everything. But at the end of the day, what you get is something like this, where uh, you have certain people, certain apps that are allowed to notify you. You can control what home screens you're seeing, what your lock screen shows, and you can automatically schedule them to happen. And so that was my work one. My sleep one, uh, this is while I'm sleeping. Basically, only my wife can notify me and only my alarm can notify me. Uh, that's really it. So we have bedtime and wake up, and this is kind of the new version of the bedtime mode. We have uh, weekend. Uh, so weekend is what I have set uh, every uh, let's see, 4 a.m. to midnight. So this actually is kind of weird. I have it set this way because it interacts with my like bedtime mode. It works. Uh, I can't really explain exactly why it works, but it's kind of the same deal um, is on the weekend. Uh, certain people are allowed to notify me. Certain apps are. Um, and then I have a different home screen. So so yeah, here's uh, here's kind of the one home screen. So this is my home screen I have for when I'm about to go to bed. It has a couple games on it, some more lighter social things for me to do. Um, and yeah, like my task manager to see what I have to finish up for the day. But yeah, um, that's what Focus is. I think it's really great. It really gives me what I've always dreamed of is my phone knowing when I'm working, when I'm not working, and just showing me different apps, different notifications based on that. Uh, I think it's really, really nice, and I think you'll like it as well when you get iOS 15 uh, later this year.